Well, hi everybody. Welcome to another version of Leap Weekly, your weekly video clip that talks about economic development news in the greater Lansing, Michigan area. My name is Bob Trezise and I am president and CEO of Lansing Economic Area Partnership, Leap. And let's get right to it because there's been a lot of big news. We've landed a big plant, big manufacturing plant, and it's called Munters, M-U-N-T-E-R-S. It's a large Swedish firm. They specialize in energy efficiency um, air treatment systems. They have plants across the United States, and they have plants in 30 different countries. It was one of those situations that was very difficult at first. They were in a 62,500 square foot building in Vive Township in Ingham County. Unfortunately, with our efforts in Vive and Ingham County, the plant just would not work for expansion purposes. There was some danger that Munters would leave the entire region and leave uh, 100 or so families behind without jobs. So we had to work regionally together, and, and again, a difficult situation, but thank you to Ingham County, Vive Township, and ultimately Delta Township in Eaton County for everybody working to get together and doing what's best for families and allowing uh, the retention uh, of uh, these jobs and the creation of some 16, close to 20 new jobs, retention of 57 jobs, and the construction of a 110,000 square foot brand new building, again in Delta Township. So it's a great uh, company. We're thankful to them for remaining in our region and giving us an opportunity to solve their problem about the particular plant location and congratulations to everybody in our entire greater Lansing region who worked together. Keith Lambert on our, on our staff did a wonderful job of putting this all together and Delta Township is now proceeding with a tax abatement to help the project be a go. Thank you to Munters. Another great project is now winding its way through Lansing City Council. It had a great meeting at uh, Development and Planning Committee this week, and that project is called Skyview, S-K-Y-V-U-E. Why? Because it's a $77 million nine-story building locating on Michigan Avenue, um, right near the Frandor area on the Story Oldsmobile dealership site, the old uh, blighted site now. This is right across the street from where our $300 million Red Cedar project is going to go. These are wonderful developers called Rise from Atlanta, Georgia, and they have uh, incredible projects all over the United States. This year they're featuring big projects in Washington, D.C., in Pittsburgh, and Lansing, Michigan. And we're so thankful for them for investing uh, in Michigan and in the Lansing area. This is a giant mixed-use building, 600,000 square feet, uh, retail on the first floor. It's perfectly matched up with our plans for Michigan Avenue. Uh, and it, they have a ramp that they're building themselves that they'll incorporate and wrap and hide inside their building. Indoor tennis courts, basketball courts, swimming pool, a courtyard in the middle, balconies. Um, this is going to be an absolutely new kind of building. I think it's the tallest building that's been built in the greater Lansing region in the last 10 years or so. So a very, very big deal. They want to start construction in November and have it up and running somewhere July 1st uh, in 2017. Congratulations to uh, RISE and, thank, and we're thankful um, to the Lansing City Council as it's winding its way through the approval process for a brownfield um, plan. And also we're in discussions with the Michigan Economic Development Corporation to assist the project with uh, CRP. So thank you to the MEDC as usual too ahead of time for their consideration. Even another great project, the Bug Couch uh, uh, dealership on Michigan Avenue, right near where the Skyview building is gonna go. They have 10 acres along Michigan Avenue. This is right where the US 127 bridge is. And they are planning a $3.5 million redevelopment, retaining 86 jobs and creating 16 jobs. It's a la very large um, frontage area on Michigan Avenue, and we're doing a brownfield project for this. One of the reasons why we're doing a brownfield is it's in a very, very dense urban and around it quite a blighted area. So we are, um, have been asking uh, Jay Feldman, who's been absolutely wonderful, we can't say thank you enough to Jay Feldman from Feldman Automotive, to take a real hard look at the aesthetic quality of um, their frontage along Michigan Avenue. Streetscape, landscape, um, contributing to the overall uh, looks, appearance, if you will, of Michigan Avenue as we continue to rapidly build and plan and make Michigan Avenue quarter between the capital city and Michigan State University look so much better. And that's why we're deeply involved in this project and it's a great addition to Michigan Avenue. 
In addition to that, a fourth project, we want to say in the last couple of weeks, Meridian Township has approved the Avenue on Grand River. And this is a great mixed use building too, 224,000 square feet um, with 15,000 square feet of retail. It's on Dawn Avenue, west of Park Lake Road. And it's going to be another terrific addition, um, construction project and a great building and a great place for uh, students and for families and people to live. So thank you very much to Meridian Township and the developers of the Avenue on the Grand River. Uh, I also want to say thank you to the Michigan Economic Development Corporation. They're a terrific economic development agency. They're doing amazing, great work across the state of Michigan, ranging from high-tech projects to entrepreneurship to industrial manufacturing projects to corporate headquarters. They've been a huge help to nearly every project that we work on here in the greater Lansing area. Frankly, you just can't do successful economic development without a powerful and good uh, state program and, and state economic development agency. The MEDC is known as one of the best in this in the country and they work closely with LEAP very, very frequently on all these projects. But they've come up with a very innovative technique to work in economic development, and it's the crowdfunding space. And they have a relationship with patronicity.com, which is a, a website. And what happens is in placemaking, where we're trying to improve place and space, uh, not unlike what I just discussed with the Bud Couts project, um, this is an opportunity for the local community to say, here's a placemaking project. We want to do $50,000 of uh, a, a soccer field in an urban area a, a quarter mile away from the Capitol building called the Beacon Field. $60,000, they'll match us $60,000 if we raise $60,000 in 30 days or so on the patronicity.com. And we just did that. Congratulations to Scott Dane and the whole crew that was involved um, with creating a really cool urban economic development, neighborhood oriented soccer field just a quarter mile away from the Capitol building itself. Um, it's gonna be a wonderful project, and we were laying concrete this week, and we had a wonderful celebration. Now, the new one that was announced this week, and I'd like to invite Keith Lambert in here for a second from my staff. Uh, Keith has been, yeah, come on in, Keith. Don't worry about it. Kind of new. Maybe sometimes I'm going to do guests now on our little uh, video clip here. But quickly, patronicity.com backslash under the bridge is an attempt on Michigan Avenue to dress up the what is really um, the not so attractive of a bridge, the US 127 bridge on Michigan Avenue. Maybe it looks more like a wall than it does a bridge currently. What are we going to do, Keith? Well, Michigan Avenue under the bridge is all about waking up a very you know, just plain space right now and kind of an area, an up and coming area. Bob Todd just talked about some big projects that are going on there, but we want to incorporate art that really connects East Lansing and Lansing in this urban central corridor area where a lot of people are transporting in all different ways. We talk to people that bike through there, walk through there, a lot, 25,000 people drive through there every day. So it's a, a very traversed corridor and we really want to focus on the pedestrian experience and have some art there on these slanted abutments. There's four of them, about 25 by 50 square foot each. Right so on the bridge. Right on the bridge. Yeah. Like the actual infrastructure of the bridge will become murals. And then the interior pillars we're gonna paint in a you know a friendly, more vibrant And type add of some color. really cool lighting and too. And add lighting to highlight both the murals and the center portions and some other lit parts. So it's really gonna glow from far away. We really wanna focus on you know, attracting East Lansing into Lansing and vice versa. But that's the really big draw. When we're, when we're at Brody or people are shopping at Frandor, we want them to look at this at night and see a glowing bridge, something that they want to go check out. Something they can pass through on Michigan Avenue. Exactly. So Lansing and East Lansing, the Capitol and the University, can traverse one another more safely in a more friendly, inviting, welcoming way. Congratulations, the MEDC. If we raise $50,000, that means you, individuals and corporations need to give five, fifty, hundred dollars, go to patronicity.com backslash under the bridge and you can give, I've given money, Keith, you've given money, a lot of people have given money already. We have 30 or so days to raise $50,000. If we do that, we leverage $50,000 more dollars from the Michigan Economic Development Corporation to do a really important improvement on Michigan Avenue that will benefit all people, neighborhoods, university, and corporations along there. So Keith, thank you very much for your leadership Absolutely. on that. Absolutely. Finally, we have one more fun thing, and it's this right behind me. This is Jazz Fest. We have amazing things going on. Jazz Fest is in downtown, in Old Town, downtown Old Town this weekend, Friday night, Saturday, and Saturday night. Thank you to Terry Terry and his crew as usual. This is a pr prominent 
uh, featured statewide event. The top jazz acts um, in the state and from across the country come on down to Old Town and have a good, good time. But we're not done because there's also a, a, a featured statewide event in downtown East Lansing tonight, tonight, Saturday, and Sunday, which is Folk Fest, which is an amazing festival. And congratulations to East Lansing folks for putting this on for not only our region, but for the state of Michigan. And finally, by the way, on thir last Thursday evening, last night, in Cooley Law School Stadium, downtown Lansing, uh, where the Lansing Lugnuts professional A baseball team plays, opened up the state's first Michigan Baseball Hall of Fame. And there were numerous inductees ranging from locally Pat O'Keefe from Grand Ledge, a legendary high school baseball coach, to Al Kaline and Ernie Harwell um, and Charlie Geringer from the Detroit Tigers and many others. This is really going to be a great feature, another added uh, statewide attraction to downtown Lansing and to our region. And congratulations to the Lugnut folks for putting that together. Thanks a lot, folks. A great week. We'll see you next week.